All right, welcome back, guys. So today we're going to be talking about the pedals that Jimi Hendrix used at Woodstock. Now these aren't the exact pedals that he had, obviously. I mean, I'm not, I'm not rich. I'm not going to go for the, the the original stuff. So this is what's available on the market. And uh, so starting off, uh, you know, we it's pretty common knowledge uh, what Jimmy used at Woodstock. If you look at the pictures. You know, you can you can clearly see that Jimi Hendrix had a coily cable. This is actually a brand new one. Um, it's the Fender Voodoo Child uh, Jimi Hendrix cable. So he had a coily cable going straight into the Vox Wah, and then into a fuzz phase, and then into his Univibe, and then that went into his uh, Marshall Stacks. I don't have Marshall Stacks. The closest thing I have that that you know. That works for me is this uh, EVH 5153 EO 34 50 watt 2x12 combo. Um, I have the gain and the volume at max, and the power level was at the minimum, uh, and it's still pretty darn loud in the room. Um, so that's the amp I'm using, and I'm using the clean channel. And uh, as far as the, vo the Vox Wah, this one is the it is the V847A. Uh, what's cool about it is that it has, uh, you can connect it to your power supply. And there's a buffer on the output, so like that it plays well going before the fuzz. I know if you use, if, you're, if your wah pedal is true bypass, it um, doesn't really work well before the fuzz, you have to put it after. So that solves this issue. Um, and then we have the, the Dunlop uh, Band of Gypsies Fuzz Face Mini. Um, and then we have the the Univibe I'm using is by Sabatius. It's the Funky Vibe Woodstock Edition, and I love the color scheme on it because it, it reminds me of uh, the outfit that Jimi Hendrix wore at Woodstock. And uh, and then as far as the guitar, it's the one from the last video. It has the Jimi Hendrix Seymour uh, Duncan pre-wired pickguard. And, I, and the bridge pickup is slanted, as if you got a, in this case, if you had a lefty and turned it righty, you know? And I feel like that makes a difference on the bridge pickup, having the, the pickup slanted like that. So uh, let, let's go over some sounds. Uh, so we're, let's go to the clean channel, this guitar and amp. <laughs> gritty kind of breaks up if you hit it hard and it's kind of clean if you uh, play soft you can always just lower the volume on the guitar So the, the the old Univibes, the preamp was always engaged. So let's go ahead and engage that preamp. So here's clean. Kind of thickens up the sound, beefs it up a little bit. Um, and then uh, while we're on the Univibe, let's go ahead and, and turn turn on the, the vibe. I feel 
like the Univibe defined the sound of, of Woodstock um, because uh, that was really the first time you heard it, if you go in, chron in, in chronology. And uh, the, the song I really heard that effect was on Isabella, which is one of my favorite songs, especially that performance. And I actually named my daughter of, of, of that, you know, because of that song, Isabella. So uh, let's turn the volume down a little bit, get a little clean. same um, I'm just winging it every time I play uh, pretty much any song um, that's that's really what Hendrix did I mean he, he he definitely followed a blueprint but he liked keeping things exciting and just kind of there was a lot of improv especially at, like later in his career he was tired of playing the exact same solo the exact same song exactly the same every single time kind of feels that by that point uh, Frank Zappa, he, he talked about it and it was like uh, Frank said that he didn't want to feel like he was uh, clocking in to work and playing the same solo and so he always improvised you know Frank and and Jimmy improvised too if you listen to his later performances they, they're all a little different uh, some of them are, the, are have some parts that are kind of similar there's some uh, sections of the solo that are the same but he kind of went into another realm when he started improvising and it was just awesome. So I, I like to kind of do that. Not that I do it like him or as close to him, but you know, he's a source of inspiration like he is to all of us. So that's kind of what I, I like to do. Just kind of, uh, just, just kind of go off the cuff, you know? <laughs> you add the fuzz face and you get the Star Spangled Banner.
Jimi Hendrix really set the bar as far as performing the Star Spangled Banner when he did it at Woodstock. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I don't think anyone that comes close to playing it like him. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's go to the wah pedal. Um, my one of one of the parts I love about that Woodstock concert was when he busts into that improv solo at the end of Purple Haze. He does this thing where he goes, uh, he's on the wah pedal just soloing, and uh, it just sounds so cool. <laughs> The sound of Woodstock is just, it's unparalleled, you know? And this is all he used. He used the, you know, wah pedal, fuzz face, and a univibe. And that's all, that's all he needed back then, back in 69. And then, you know, you go on to the, the Band of Gypsies record, and he adds the, the, the Octavia. And he has a, I think, at the, I think he has a silicon fuzz. And uh, this, this fuzz is modeled after that red fuzz face you see on the, in the pictures which is uh, said to be uh, the fuzz circuit of the Octavio or the Octavia and uh, let's just say it's a custom made uh, device by Roger Mayer you know and I'm pretty happy with this fuzz face because it sounds kick ass <laughs> kick ass and it cleans up really nice too it sounds great man I, I love it um, there is a debate oh which one's better the band of gypsies or the signature well you know what if you want the chimier sound go with the signature this one has a little more roundness to it but it's it's definitely more aggressive and they both sound good you know they just they each do their own thing and then uh yeah i'll, I'll play a little something for you guys just to end it here just to click on the univive here <laughs> guys like this video of course you know like the video subscribe um, share it with your friends and family 
I'm gonna keep coming up with uh, videos and uh, I'm actually gonna have a, a pedal board put together with these items and the other Fuzz Space Mini and the Octavio. Uh, there's a riser, there's a, a power supply underneath. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. And uh, there's a secret weapon stashed underneath the, the riser. And we'll, we'll go over that once I have everything put together and I, I get the pedal board back. And uh, yeah, so I, I, I hope you guys like this video and uh, just stay tuned for all the other videos I have coming out. Thank you.